I have been in Canada for five years, and my research is about food enzymology, kind of the type of enzymes you can use in food production. I'm from Ecuador. I'm trying to understand how the genes can differentiate or express different according to what we eat. I was first exposed to the world of food back in my home country and after studying there I really wanted to go in more depth about food to do more research about food. I started looking for schools and I got to know about University of Saskatchewan. I grew up on a grain operation just outside of Outlook, Saskatchewan, and then I am here or have been here to study for the past almost 10 years. I'm from South Korea. I'm in the PhD program and my research area is using the beneficial microorganism to improve plant health. My family immigrated from Mongolia to Canada in 2006 and now currently working on my uh, master's degree uh, doing um, a thesis on uh, pea protein fermentation. Populations are uh, ever rising and I think it's estimated to be around 10 billion by 2050 and so uh, there is a tremendous need for uh, value-added food processing. As our global population increases, uh, we are looking for more safe and more uh, mass of crop production. Food has a universality to it, which doesn't exist with a lot of other systems. Everybody across the world eats, and figuring out how we're going to eat for the next 100, 200 years is going to be really important. Saskatchewan is a large agricultural producer, and so in feeding the world, we have to figure out how we're going to start from the farm and go to the fork. Saskatchewan, it's a major, major producer of pea in Canada and Canada is the largest exporter of pulses too in the globally across the globe. The University of Saskatchewan is both very welcoming and positive as well as quite a diverse community. You see people come from all over the world to both study and enjoy life at this university and it makes for both a great learning experience in terms of what you're here to study but is also what you'll learn from interacting with people. Our university is really well equipped. There is cutting edge research going on in every aspect of food, so you get a chance to look at food as a whole. That's how I decided why I want to choose this school. I think it's an amazing experience out here. I'm lucky to be here. When well, I'm trying to find out a university in North America, I kind of target to the small cities. I want to feel like what my life is like while being a small city. Here I get perfectly what I want. Life is quiet and easy here. People are more friendly. The Department of Food and Bioproduct Sciences at this university is particularly nice because of its size. It allows great access to both the faculty and to other students. It's also in the agriculture building, which means it's well developed both for hands-on experience and classroom learning. The reason I choose to come here to the U of S is because Canadian Night Source is a like, fascinating, fascinating and it's the biggest like, uh, the electron accelerator in Canada. In our department, we have a pilot plant that you can produce food and we also have the Structure Science Centre and over there you can kind of look into the details of the molecules in food. Not everyone is well informed in terms of nutritional and functional properties of uh, the food they eat. So for me to be able to explain that and may perhaps uh, persuade them uh, into living a better, healthier uh, lifestyle in terms of uh, what they eat, uh, that, makes, uh, that gives me joy. You need some balance be between work and relax, and my relax is like, like go to the gym, squash and rock climbing. I'm pretty tired, I can't focus anymore in labs. We'll go to the gym to exercise a little bit and just to prepare ourselves for the next day. 
So the typical dates come into the lab and work, uh, developing different experiments. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But then you find different activities here in the university. It's really important to have a balance between your studies and your uh, normal life. In my case, I go and do exercise. I actually regularly go to gym, doing yoga, steps, golf. And I think I really have now strength, I mean physically, and also that helped my mental health. To me, doing research as well as doing some workout was important, yeah. You have really good people here that help you in different ways. You have a good staff, you have good teachers, you have a really good environment with, this, with the students. So I think that that would be the word. Just enjoy it and have the best time. If you want to work in the industry after you graduate, this program also gives you the connection you need, also prepared you for that. So I would say this is a very good choice. I'm from like South Korea, so we our official language or mother tongue is not English. So I think most of international students who not, who doesn't who don't speak English as a first language, they may have a language barrier initially. But don't be afraid. The, your friends here and your faculty and your colleague will help you. So just come apply right now. <laughs>